Last week you saw us relaxing and hanging out at the Royal Livingston. This week it's all a lot more serious as I take on Cameron van der Berg in a big race right above the Victoria Falls. So we're off the train and we've arrived at one of the most famous bridges in the world and it's one I know particularly well because growing up in Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls is somewhere I've been on a number of occasions. But no matter how many times you come here, you can't help but be taken aback by the simple majesty of Victoria Falls. So like many boys, I've always dreamt of being a train driver. It's taken a little while, but 36 years in, I'm finally at the helm of this steam engine and it's over the bridge of Victoria Falls. It's a very special moment and I'm going to crown it with something I've always wanted to do. So here you go, Dan the train driver. <laughs> So I'm currently riding Mary. She's a young female, but she's fairly large. <laughs> she seems really friendly. Basically, this is kind of like being on Tox van der Linde's shoulders and going for a ride. So during the course of the season, we've done some pretty incredible things on the Dan Nichols show. But this one's gonna be pretty hard to beat. So here we are on the Zambezi River. We're in the safe hands of Captain Vinny, who hasn't crashed a boat in over three days and we're setting off for what is the big challenge of our visit to Victoria Falls. I have to be dancing, these are uh, actually from Zimbabwe, so uh, national pride at stake here. So a little bit of swimming context for you here, Cameron van der Berg, Olympic gold medalist, multiple world record holder, and quite simply, one of the finest swimmers the world has ever seen. Dan Nickel, a member of the Selborne Rutledge under 11 4x25 metre freestyle relay team that finished a very creditable third in the Harare Interschools Gala in 1988. I recommend both to win. All right, so this is the crux of what we're doing. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done on television or otherwise. And Cameron Vandenberg and I are going to have a swimming race about 10 yards that way. I don't know about you, but I'm terrified. Dan, I can't wait for this. This is probably the most exciting swimming event I've ever done in my life. And just so we're absolutely clear, Cameron was tested this morning, absolutely clean on everything. I was tested, positive, for three cheeseburgers, eight beers, and a little bit too much weight. Famous victory for Cameron to add to his Olympic goals and world records. I think he's wearing an illegal swimsuit though and the water does appear to be very cold. My favourite memory of the weekend would definitely be swimming in um, the Devil's Pool with you Dan, risking my life. I think it was something that I will remember for the rest of my life and uh, sending the pictures home to my mum, I think she had uh, a bit of a heart attack so it's great to still be alive and kicking. <laughs> 